Okay, so we know these Honda EU model generators. Notice this is a 26i. They don't sell them anymore. They don't make them. Uh, they only make 2000s and 3000s. Or 20s and 30s. Um, so 2.6 kVA max. And you may notice that Honda have since added uh, a grounding post here or somewhere along the front panel. And uh, the older model has the grounding post on the side. So we're in Australia, so we've got 240 volts, but this works on any EU. And uh, I've just got a safety station here. So I can emergency stop any operation and also close an interconnect. With the, the foot switch. So the setup here is we're going to try and close the uh, generator while it's, uh, well before it's running, onto existing grid power. So down lights plugged into generator here. Yellow indicator there is indicating that mains power is present because obviously the generator is not running, but that's closed. So power from this side can't get to the other side and vice versa. So to prove the generator's running, okay. It's generating output on the inverter, and I got the parallel here, plus grounding coming up to the output of my safety controller. So we can input this way and grids waiting on this side. And if I close the grid to the inverter, the inverter doesn't care. And you can see that those sockets are now connected to the grid via here, the parallel. So that's been lit by the grid. But AC has been supplied, uh, applied to the inverter. And uh, no, it doesn't blow it up. So it's ready to see, like another generator already feeding power to it, ready to synchronize with. So all I gotta do is start the generator to prove that uh, they're capable of connecting with the grid. Because I don't think I've found a video on YouTube showing this already. Um, this doesn't work because we are in a block of apartments and it's kind of funny doing an apartment with the generator, but it could do it with a... Actually, no, it couldn't, because you'd be trying to feed back to the street. But here it's trying to feed back to other apartments, and it actually overloads the generator, as I'll show you. So, I'll uh, apply grid power. So now grid power is coming into the generator. Generator's output is not on, but 240 volts is going out. It's sockets. So engine switch is on, grid's obviously present, and now there's too much load to close and interconnect with. 10 amps is the max of this generator, and you can see, I'm trying to feed Other apartments plus ours, it can't do. I think it may have hooked on now. The demand's not high enough, or maybe it's negotiated how much power it can put out. Yeah, that's actually uh, interconnected with the grid. There she goes, it got overwhelmed again. Too much load. So I've just closed the interconnect now. I've still got power present because now that's on generator. So the grid is cut from the generator. So that's gonna go out. That's not related to that's grid power, that's gen power. As you see, and then I can reapply grid through to those sockets as this device is intended to work. 
So yes, it does work, except it's not practical. The reason I wanted to test this is so I could apply grid power to it, turn on the generator, and then go close off the grid so nothing has to transition over between supplies. But inevitably you have to do it anyway because, as you see, the generator gets overwhelmed and the inverter turns off on overload. So you can't make a smooth changeover. However, if you had an in a house independent off-grid with uh, like solar inverter running your house and the house was ready to or was the same load as the generator already you could make a smooth transition but it will not work with grid power and so it's also dangerous for line workers if the grid goes offline and uh, you're energizing lines out in the street while they're trying to work it you could kill someone so this is not a good idea this is a test only I wouldn't go doing it so there's your warning and there's proof that you can apply grid power to a Honda and you can start it up. But only the EU models. Do not try with any others. So now I've got this apartment running off gen power. Now I wouldn't attempt to turn on mains, the grid, while gen's running because I have no idea how that's going to try and synchronize. It may just cut out, it may blow up. So. It's not worth it. So that's off. Generators start up and back feeding, which is also illegal and um, pretty dangerous to do unless you know what you're doing. So again, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But uh, RCDs or GFIs are working as normal, and uh, power is being back fed to the lights. And the uh, power circuits. fact well, yeah let's try the back in nice heavy load well, in fact the kettle's about to load so there you go as I said 10 amps is full load so I don't know if you're going to be able to see but that's reading 9.1 focus and just light properly. There we go. Right. It's about as best as I'm going to get it, I think. As you see, no overload. We're only feeding this place. We're only using 240 watts at the moment. One times 240 volts is uh, 240 watts. Ignoring power factor. So there you go. But no, it cannot be uh, connected with the grid <clears throat> and make a smooth transition. As I say, highly dangerous and illegal to do so anyway. But to prove a point, the inverter can take on another AC source, or whatever it is, another generator, as intended for parallel, uh, a solar inverter on its own, supplying a house, or uh, grids power, uh, grid mains.